should check out that silent alarm at the auction house. wonder if I'm doing right by you. Well, stop wondering. After losing my parents and Uncle Ben, there are so many times I would have fallen apart if not for you. Well, that works both ways, Peter. I just wanted to make sure you knew that. May, I... I don't know what to say. Oh, I think Mr. Lee needs my help. I should go. See you soon, dear. I love you. Love you, too. Drug trade's gotten more aggressive post this. Gotta stop that out. Police should be here soon. And I've got other things to do. Here. They must have taken it. Those masks. Who are these guys? There's no one here but us. We will find the file. Or you will die. This is bad. They'll kill her if I alert them. Need to pick them off silently. Yuri, the silent alarm was legit. Masked gunmen and a single hostage. Looks like a heist in progress. Copy that. Sending units your way. Keep the situation from getting worse in the meantime. Can do. Gotta do this quietly. Don't want to alert the others. So cozy whipped up like that. Should web him from above. Whoa, careful. You stay quiet now. Someone's coming. They'll see me down here. Thin. Someone else is here. I swear. He must have the file. If they're here, where are they? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. Yen Jing Zhen Yo Kyla. Nap time. Hey, what is that? This totally belongs to. Don't move. 
Buddy, if I had a nickel for every don't move... Hey, Pete. MJ? What are you doing here? Same as you. Working. At least... I was. Oh, I, uh, think this is yours. Yeah, thanks. So, Robbie's got you covering a break-in for the Bugle? Well, Robbie doesn't technically know I'm here. And it wasn't a break-in until a few minutes ago. Uh, uh-huh. Let me explain. Excuse me. Hi, Mary Jane Watson. I'm covering the Fisk estate sale. Hello. Craig said we'd do this tomorrow. I like to get a jump on things. Well, I don't. You'll have to come back tomorrow. Right. Okay. I'm sorry. Hey, Craig? No, sorry. It just... It looks like we're gonna have to run something else on the cover. I don't know, uh, maybe the expressionist piece? You know what? I think I can make today work. Are you sure? You're here, no moment like the present. Thank you. Craig? Never mind, we're good. Let's get started. Look around and familiarize yourself with the items. I'll be waiting by the Baku statue when you're ready to begin. Can do. I can't get over this image. So much tension between these two figures. Let me know when you're ready to begin. Sounds good. Starting with the prize, a one-of-a-kind Kake Monbaku. Oh, beautiful. It's a Mifune? Correct. Mr. Fisk has exceptional taste. Did you know him well before his arrest? In a professional context. I handled many of his sales. Let's move on, please. Now this exquisite piece exemplifies the traditional Tarashikomi puddled ink effect. The two Neo are so imposing. I can see why Fisk liked this piece. Definitely his style. He loved the duality. Destruction screams, but creation toils in silence. Was there ever anything irregular in any of the sales you handled for him? No. No, of, of course not. Not that I was aware of. Notice the intricate gold inlay on this ceremonial tea set. It's just... A friend in the DA's office mentioned that Fisk used art sales to launder stolen goods. I'm... sure I wouldn't know anything about that. Oh, I know. I was just wondering, now that he's arrested, if you had ever noticed anything... strange. You know what? I'm actually running short of time. Why don't we grab the cover photo while we can? When I told my DA friend I was doing a piece on you, he mentioned your name was familiar. Just the photo, please. Stand right there. Are you sure there's nothing you'd like to say, maybe off the record, regarding Fisk's activities? 
I don't think your readers would have any interest in... Damn it. Wait here, please. Wait. I recognize that statue. Gotta get at it. Craig, I'll call you back. My dear, I think it's time for you to go. Oh, um, could I use the restroom real quick? Fine. Follow me. Thank you. This... This is a really lovely space. It is. Thanks for the last. The the corner. Of, course. of course. Be right back. Hello, Craig. Funny you should call. Because the reporter you sent is clearly not working the puff piece we agreed upon. No, she's here now. I've got to get into that back room. If that statue is what I think it is... This just turned into a huge story. What do you mean he had to reschedule? If she's not your reporter, who is she, Craig? Who is in my auction house? Oh my god. Pete told me about this. Fisk used it to hide evidence. Why didn't the cops take it? I know this statue opens. But how? I wonder if there are any... That's the Neo behind them. But it looks different. you can move. Most common pose is latent power. Mouth closed, left arm down, right palm facing forward. Maybe these pieces move. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down. Right palm facing forward. The catalog mentioned two poses. Mouth closed, left arm down. So close. But a piece is missing. I've seen these before. Excuse me, sir. You you can't be not good. Where's the statue? In in in, in there. Ba Wen Jin zao shu lai. I was on my way to the exit when I saw you. You're lucky to be alive. Says the guy I saved five minutes ago. Listen, whoever these masked guys are, they're after this file. But I'll never get it out of here while the place is swarming with them. Right. Okay. Um, you hide back there. I take out the bad guys. You make a break when it's clear. Sounds like a plan. Good to see you, Pete. Yeah, you too. Not exactly how I pictured us meeting again, though. Funny. It's exactly how I pictured it. Did she change her perfume? Focus, Pete, focus. She don't! Yes! All right. Of course. Sh 
Should clear these guys out before I push forward. Okay, Pete. I'm hidden near the front. Give the word and I'll make a break for it. Will do. How about that file? What's in it that these guys want so bad? Notes on something called Devil's Breath. Fisk was hired to build a secret research lab for it. Not clear what Devil's Breath is, but it seemed to scare Fisk. He compares it to Pandora's box. Not much, Shook Fisk. We need to get you and that file out of here. Hang tight. We should be done. There we go. Sleep it off. Gotta stay silent. No! Let me go! MJ! Stop! No. Hide! Not cool with the hostage taking guys. What's up with that glowy stuff on your hands? Are you guys ghosts? Never fought a ghost before. I mean, I've fought specters, but you know, technically specters aren't ghosts. All ghosts are specters, but not all specters are ghosts. You know what I mean? Eh, seems like this is an energy thing, not a ghost thing. All good. Fight a ghost stays on the old bucket list. Cardio? Check. Huh. Looks antique. I think I know someone who could help track down where this came from. A job for later. Just cleared out that other room. Uh, you know, hold them for transport. I just talked to Craig. You are not the reporter he was sending. You don't even work for Heritage Arts. Never said I did. Hi, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. You, you will not write a word of what you saw For the here. record, what do you know about the file those masked men stole? 
That... I, I don't... What about the long history of stolen goods Fisk has laundered at this auction house? Your editor will be hearing from our attorney. Mix? Like the last six months never happened? <sighs> Since when did Mix become Italian? No idea, but I'm still glad he makes these fries. Totally. Best in the city. So, how's the grind at the Bugle? Hmm. Well... Yeah, well, I just got an all-caps text from Robbie about my so-called antics tonight. So it looks like I'll be meeting with a legal team. Again. Uh, as soon as he reads the article you're gonna write, guaranteed promotion. So, creepy mask, guys. What's your take? Just another night in the city. What's your take? I feel like there's a bigger story there. Let's not make this all about business. How's, how's it going with you? Did, did you get that promotion? No, but we're on the cusp of something really big. You know Oscorp would hire you in a heartbeat, right? One phone call to hair. Sure, but Dr. Octavius' work will help millions. I'm, I'm right where I want to be, right where I should be. Almost sounds like it's more important than your other job. I've never heard you talk like that before. A lot can change in six months. Why did you ask me here, Pete? You know, just, uh, just dinner between friends. Friends. Is that what we are? I Maybe mean, we could be, you know, if, if, if that's what you wanted. <laughs> There's a lot of baggage here. Yeah, sure, but is that so bad? I mean, baggage can carry good things, too, like, uh, like money and uh, keys and raspberry lip balm. Do you remember why we broke up? This is a trick question, isn't it? Saved by the siren. Talk to you later. Go. Cool. Love seeing you two together again. You always were my favorites. heading down third. Looks like our old friend Herman Schultz is at it again. Shocker! Didn't he just get paroled? Yeah, well... I guess it didn't take. No worries. Herman's just a big cupcake. I'll have him back in Rikers by bedtime. I just had dinner with my ex after saving her from masked criminals. And now I'm gonna go beat up a maniac who uses shockwaves to rob people. What a perfectly normal life you have, Peter Parker. All units, armed robbery reported. Please respond. Reported location is in the vicinity of Nomad. I just want to make sure you haven't left any equipment you've built for your friend around the lab. It's no bother to me, but if the Grand Committee stops by again... Don't worry, Doc. I make a point not to leave anything there. But I know my friend appreciates you looking out for him. There's a lot of people who don't like him very much. That buffoon Jameson and his audience of sheep? Please. The people who do great things in this world are those who don't let bullies like him stand in their way. People like us. You said a mouthful, Doc. Take care.
1034, assault currently in progress. Mobilize at touchdown. Hi, Herman. Seriously? Give it up! You're never gonna catch me! That's what you said last time. I don't wanna hurt you! You'll just blow me down! Wow, that's considerate. What's the money for, Herman? Why do you care? Actually, I don't. Just trying to make polite conversation. I'm done talking! But this could be so much more rewarding if we connected on an emotional level! Wait, I forgot. You don't have emotions. Come on, Herman! At least talk to me so we can make it interesting! Gotcha. Now let's talk. I said I'm done talking! Noted. Honestly, Herman, why are you robbing again? You know the police are watching your every move. I mean, we all know you're kind of dumb, but I didn't think you were this dumb. You must... Desperate, which means you're not just stealing for yourself. You must be working with someone, or for someone. You can tell me who it is now, or make me punch it out of you later. Your choice. Not enough. Move, move, move. like zero personality, but your suit is awesome. Can we talk design details? <laughs> Maybe later. Good work, Spider-Man. Did you learn anything about his motive? I tried, but he's not very talkative. Plus, I think he hates me. You have that effect on a lot of people. But you love me, right, Yuri? I tolerate you. Wow, that might be the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Looks like I got some free time. Maybe now's a good time to look into that mask. Oh, it's MJ. <clears throat> hey, MJ, you're up late. Just catching up on the news. Looks like you had quite an adventure with Shocker tonight. Yeah, he was unusually combative. Anyway, thanks again for dinner. 
Almost morning. Mr. Lee will be here soon. I could use a snack. Mr. Lee's usually in his office now. You guys holding up all right? This moron thinks I'm going to move in with my daughter. Hey, that'd be great. She hasn't asked, and she's not gonna. I'm not going anywhere. You don't know that. Nobody does. Well, I'm not going anywhere. That's a promise. Peter, what can I do for you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Lee. I have a friend, Mary Jane, she's a reporter. She's doing a story on art imports and she found this piece. Well, she wanted an expert opinion on it and I know you have a degree. And this might be the first time I actually get to use it. Let's see what you have. Interesting. Where'd she find it? I'm really not sure. Why, what is it? A replica of an antique Chinese opera mask. I haven't seen one in years. This symbol here roughly translates to demon. Demon? Well, my father read me ghost stories with that mask and symbol in it when I was young. Scared the hell out of me. Peter, listen. That mask, it's... It could be connected to dangerous people. Mary Jane might want to find a different story. Do you think she's in trouble? I don't know. Why take the risk? Hey. The symbol inside the mask means demon. It really spooked Mr. Lee. Never seen him like that. He even said you should drop the story. Fat chance. Do you think Mr. Lee knows more than he's letting on? No, I think he just had a weird flashback or something. I know his childhood was pretty traumatic. Yeah, that makes sense. Demons, huh? Catchy name. Okay, gotta get writing. See you soon. Well, that went about as well as I could have hoped. Got some time to kill before Doc needs me at the lab. Let's do a little spidey work out in the city. Plushy! Oh, a toy designer made this prototype to get me to license my likeness. Too bad there's no way to get paid without revealing my identity. story Mary Jane's investigating. Don't worry, I'll make sure she's careful. Please tell me you two are back together. We're talking again. Baby steps. I hope I didn't upset Mr. Lee. 
He's just concerned. I was actually touched by how concerned. I knew he liked you. He admires how dedicated you are to helping others. I think you remind him of himself when he was younger. Both orphans, both so smart. Well, the admiration's mutual. You've got a good boss, May. I'll tell him you said so. Love you, Peter. Hello? Peter, it's Dr. Octavius. Oh, hey, what's up? Lance Corporal Texador is here for a fitting. I totally forgot. I mean, I, mean, I didn't forget, forget, I just, I, I'll be there soon. <sighs> this tardiness is starting to become a pattern. Come on, Parker, you're better than this. <sighs> He's right. How did I lose track of time? I can't let him hurt that victim anymore. Get back. Can't stick around. I'll call this into the cops. a natural arm. You think of what you want it to do, and... Yes! <laughs> hey! Hey! What do you think you're doing? This site's been declared a safety hazard. Stop that right now! This is highly sensitive equipment. That's it. I'm calling the mayor's office directly. Peter Parker, how the hell are you? Speak of the devil. Mr. Osborne. Oh, please. How long have we known each other? It's Mr. Mayor. <laughs> it's Norman. Norman! Norman, what do you think you're doing? The grant agreement you signed has strict safety provisions. This isn't your first violation. Those were excused. By me. We should have confiscated this equipment long ago. But, but I've had a breakthrough. <laughs> Thank you for your great service to our country. These folks will escort you to Oscorp Robotics, where you'll receive the latest in prosthetics. No charge. This isn't about safety infractions, is it? I'm trying to help you, Otto. You're free to continue your work. 
in a secure environment. At Oscorp. You always were the smartest guy in the room. You haven't changed a bit. Neither of you. Hey, Peter. Harry will be coming back from Europe early next year. Maybe the two of you can start that business you always talked about. This is opportunity knocking. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. They, they, they didn't take everything. Maybe we could start over. Peter. There's no we. Without the grant from the city, I can no longer pay you. I need some time to think. If I were you, I'd look for a new job. I wish I could do something to help Doc. He'd call Harry. Ask him to talk to his dad. No. Norman never listens to Harry. He even tried to kill funding for his research stations. Hey, one of those stations is nearby. Should see how they're doing while Harry's in Europe. Harry left me a message about these before he left for Europe. Pete, hey, I need a favor. My mom's pet project was research stations that could benefit the public. Now, I launched them, but now that I'm away, Oscorp's gonna shut them down unless they prove their value. I was hoping you could watch them. I left details in each one. Thanks, man. It's like a part of my mom is, too. Well, it's not gonna pay the bills, but... I've got a couple stations measuring air pollution. The idea is to catch the, oh, what's the word, contaminants, before they reach toxic levels. Between you and me, I think Oscorp wants this to fail because it might chill their polluting. The amount of polycyclic hydrocarbons in the air is way too high. And rising. If it keeps getting worse, people could die. The particles are concentrating in trouble spots, like mini clouds of smog. I'll swing through them and get samples, then trace them to the source. Nasty as they are, I gotta swing right through those clouds. For these clouds to be visible to the naked eye, the level of toxins must be up there. And gotcha! Getting some good stuff. Well, good samples of bad stuff anyway. <coughs> Got it. from a tailpipe. <laughs> I must be freaking these people out. Uh, what else is... Huh. The toxin's coming from two types of cars and a faulty smokestack. I better get photos.
great light on that one. Perfect. Can I get an autograph? Could you, like, uh, do something? Best smokestack picture I ever took. The Department of Environmental Protection will take it from here. Maybe I should make a green spider costume for Earth Day. Well, Harry Station just stopped a public health crisis. Oscorp's gonna have a hard time arguing it's not useful. Spider-Man, Shocker has escaped, and now he's robbing a bank on East 31st. What happened? I thought he was behind bars. He was. But one of the guards just walked up to his cell and released him, then gave him his suit back. I knew Shocker was working for someone! What did you get out of the guard? Wish I could ask him, but he's dead. Whoever made him release Shocker didn't want any loose ends. Damn! Looking at the security footage, the guard was in some kind of trance. And it might have been the lighting, but it looked like his eyes were glowing. Well, that's creepy. Okay, I'll see what I can get out of Shocker when I get to the bank. Attention units, report receipt of a narcotics sale in progress. Officers in Murray Hill. Construction. Herman! Long time no see. Hey, I'm no lawyer, but uh, I'm pretty sure that's a parole violation. <laughs> Oops, guess we're stuck in here for a while. Want to play 20 questions? No? How about we thumb rest? Okay, face punch it is. Whoa, your gauntlets are all digital now, aren't they? Have it your way. You want to fight? Let's fight! Man, can't wait to put you back behind bars so we can talk science. Remember our first fight? He's so young and stupid. You just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines? Okay. Now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! Get Coming down. your way! Gotcha. First fight, me so young and stupid, you just stupid. You talk so much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? We're okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me. You come clean, I can help you! You really ought to help me! Don't let me have my money! Sorry, not gonna happen. First fight, me so young and stupid, 
You just stupid. You talk too much. Well, that's a matter of opinion. I mean, are there any standard metrics for how much talking one should do? And who determines the ideal ratio of talking versus not talking? Also, how would you measure? Words per minute, syllables per second? Or is it more about how many words one uses to express a single thought? It's all so subjective. If you ask me, some people don't talk enough. Think about who their mysterious overlord is. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! If you come clean, I can help you! You really wanna help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, it's not gonna happen. This one's gonna hurt. Remember our first fight? Me, so young and stupid? You just stupid! You talk so much! Well, that's a matter of opinion. Okay, now I can do some real damage. Why are you doing this, Herman? Because if I do, they'll kill me! Okay, catch this one with your face! If you come clean, I can help you! You really want to help me? Just let me have the money! Sorry, not gonna... You know, people don't use banks anymore. You're lucky you found actual cash. If you really want to rob banks... Try day trading. It's all the rage. Wait, 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 wait! Oh, no! Oh, come on, Herman! If you tell me who you're working for, I can help you cut a deal! If I talk, I'm dead! They made that very clear! You're freaking me out, Herman! It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything to those masks. Wait, did you say masks? You tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut it. Tell me who you're working for. I can help you cut a deal. If I talk, I'm dead. They made that very clear. You're freaking me out, Herman. It's not like you to be afraid of people. Not even sure these guys are people. Could be anything under those masks. Don't know, don't care. As soon as I finish the job, I'm gone! Give up now and we can protect you! No way! You ain't see what I see! What the? Okay, last chance to give up. This time I really mean it. Quit moving! Ah! Quit now, your own choice! Okay, I was kidding before. Okay, last chance to give up. This time I really mean it. Quit moving! Okay, I was kidding before. Now is your last last chance. Seriously. Sorry, Herman. You brought this on yourself. Literally.
He was scared and desperate. These demons are everywhere all of a sudden. Okay, Yuri. Shocker's all yours now. Good work. We have a special cell waiting for him at the raft. We'll make sure he stays behind bars this time. Also, I'm pretty sure he was working for the Demon Gang. Demon Gang? <sighs> Sounds like a Daily Bugle headline. Hey! The Bugle is a... Perfectly fine news organization. Not sure I'd call it news. Well, I've heard they have some really good reporters. Anyway, have you had any more reports on demon, uh, guys with masks? Let me get back to you. By the way, how much of a mess did you make inside that bank? You probably don't want to know. <sighs> Shouldn't have asked. Fight with Shocker took a while. Time to catch up on what I've been missing out in the city. Doc left a message. Peter, I might have been a bit hasty advising you to find another job. I have a plan. Give me a bit of time. We may yet live to invent another day. The indomitable Otto Octavius. It's great news. Hope this plan works. Thinking? Brewing gang war? Let's try to get ahead of it. Are there any Fisk properties that haven't been hit tonight? Let me see. Patrol reported a bunch of activity at one of his shipyards in Portside. Thanks, Yuri. I'll check it out. Hey, Yuri. Any idea what Fisk uses that shipyard for? No idea. Let me send an officer to meet you there. His name's Jefferson Davis. That's his beat. He's a good cop. Been working the Fisk case for years. If anyone knows what's going on at that shipyard, it's him. Waste time on these demons. All units, police are engaged in an active shootout with demons. All units, 1030 on an armored car. Suspects are wearing masks. Report came in from Clinton. Over. Not getting much coverage. I should look for more towers to activate. Thank <laughs> you. 
like little kingpins in training. So cute! Dirty fight, son of a... You regret this! Got it, boss. Tripling security. Demons won't touch a thing. Listen up! Demons are making moves on all our caches. Lost two tonight already. Boss may be in lockup. That don't mean his hardware's up for grabs. Com check. Eagle 2, you up? Eagle 2 reporting in. Eyes on. What caches are the demons after? Need to take out Fisk's men and figure out what they're guarding. Whatever it is, I don't want it in Fisk's or the demons' hands. Snipers everywhere. I need to deal with a lot of junk scattered around. Around here, a well placed web shot could make a great distraction. That sniper has a guard watching him. May need to divide and conquer. Who's there? They keep talking about gear. What does Fisk store here? Sleep it off. Who's this? You've been quiet, Frank. Up? Frank. Oh crap. Did someone check on him? Copy. Checking it out. Safe. I literally didn't see that coming. Gotta be ready for another round of PC. 
Mexican move. You know we can't have vigilantes trespassing or doing illegal searches. Yeah, I know. Which is why I brought a warrant. So what do you say we do some perfectly legal searching? I like the sound of that. What's your name? Officer Davis. Call me Jeff. And you are? Uh... uh... <laughs> Just messing with you. My son's a big fan. So, that warrant cover breaking down doors? Not without a lot of extra paperwork. Okay. We'll find another way in. Any place this rundown should have a hole in the wall or a broken window. Check around back. I go myself, but you know, not Spider-Man. I feel like I'm in a horror movie. Hello? Any fishermen with a grudge and a hook for a hand? Jeff, you there? I'm doing my best to refrain from knock-knock jokes. Appreciated. You see a junction box following the door? Yeah, got it. With it overloaded, that should force the door open. Smart, but I don't have anything that packs enough current. Try this. Stun gun, genius. Capacitors in this are just what I need for an upgrade I've been thinking of. Gadget man, huh? You remind me of my son. I started taking apart the TV when he was five. <laughs> now he's unlocking his friend's phones. Sounds like he could teach me a few things. Okay. Nothing illegal in plain sight? Kinda anticlimactic, huh? At first glance. Let's look closer. Looking for something specific? This yard's been here a long time. Bootleggers used to use it back in the day. Gotcha. Those guys love their hidden rooms. Check it out. Sound hollow to you? I've got a hidden panel. Like the one on the door. The conduits lead out the back. Look for another junction box. Let's see if my mask lenses can pick up the conduits. I could have unlocked this myself. Hey, I doubt I would have found it without you. Hmm. We got a big fat nothing. Well, there's one secret room that could be more. Notice anything about the floor? Uh -huh. They can hide the doors, but not the scrapes they leave. Keep an eye out for more of those. Dirt. Scrape, no door. None I can see anyway. Great. I'll be right there. Maybe not. Elevator's busted. Sit tight. I'll pull you up. Yeah. Second floor. Rusted machine parts. Big honking rats. <laughs> Careful. The bridge is out. I got this one. <laughs> Nice! Stuck the landing and everything! We're not all donut eaters! <laughs> Fair enough! 
Another secret door. I'll read the lock. Let me know if you find the junction box. Yep, on it. <laughs> Found one. Nailed it. Check this out. Nothing. I'm starting to feel like this is Fisk's way of messing with me. But look at the walls. They kept guns here. They wouldn't have moved them to the front door. Gotta be a passageway we're missing. Check out the wall. This might control access to another area. Fisk's men were talking about a vault. Maybe we're close. Bet on it. Looks like a dual circuit. See if you can find a second junction box. Found it. Clear. You were right, Jeff. Trap door. Outstanding. Think you can help me out? This thing's heavy. One, two, three. Well, that isn't spooky at all. Probably an old bootlegger's tunnel. And it looks like no one's cleaned it since Al Capone. Big chunk of concrete in the way. I can't get through. Let me see how it looks from the top. Got room to maneuver here. Hang on. What was that? Subway, maybe. Let's hustle. The place is unstable. Okay, that definitely wasn't a subway. No. Sounded like explosives. And that sounds like demons. The vault! Hurry! Come on, let's go! Damn. Demons are already gone. How'd they beat us here? Must be a back door. See if you can find it. This place is one hell of an armor. Or was. There. They blew the locks to get in. <clears throat> Shh. Demons. Stay here. Hell no. It'll take both of us to stop them. And some of these. They're moving. Let's go. Get them! Find cover! That's what I'm talking about! I'm trying to do my part. Fire it! Stay clear! Reload it! Now you're just showing off! There's a guy dodging boots. Your timing is impeccable! See? I've got friends too!
Two trucks full of gunmen in one day. It's time to hang up the webs. Crazy. This keeps up. Bystanders will get shot. I gotta get in close. Hey guys, room for one more? Here's your stuff. to run on time. We've now identified the officer as Jefferson Davis. We're being told he has minor injuries and is expected to make a full recovery. Excuse me, miss. Are you supposed to be here? More than you. After that auction house thing, the bugle put me on the city beat, which means I get to focus full time on real stories like this and the demons. You know the closer you get to them, the more you become a target, right? The closer I get, the better chance we have to stop them. We? Officer Davis, Mary Jane Watson, Daily Bugle. No comment. I don't blame you. But these guys are gonna tell their story with or without you. And they thrive on controversy. So what's your end? I don't have one. I just listen. Okay. Hop in. She's good.
Man, I'm beat. Time to head home and get some sleep. Come on. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Yeah, hi. Uh, I'm trying to track down some items that were accidentally picked up from a dumpster outside my apartment. Dumpster number? Uh, uh, hang on. Uh, 64476. That's Route 33. Truck's already left at shift. If your stuff's not there, you're out of luck. Wait, wait, please. This is important. Can you at least tell me where the truck is? <sighs> Let me check. All right. Looks like it should be at the municipal garage at Bowery and Grand. Got it. Thanks, Eddie. Municipal garage, Bowery and Grand. Not a problem. I don't care if I lose everything else. But I have to find my Spidey drive. Can't be that hard. Finding a tiny flash drive in a 30-ton garbage truck. I have years of research on that drive. Everything I've worked on since high school. Of course it's locked. Can't have people stealing garbage. Maybe there's another way in. It's not really breaking and entering if I don't break anything, right? Okay, you don't need to panic. Maybe they haven't dumped the trash yet. Nada. Ugh. Okay, time to panic. Empire Sanitation, this is Eddie. Sorry, is there any chance the truck wasn't at the garage? Sure, I guess. Just means it'd be somewhere in West Chinatown. Great, I'm headed there now. Hey. It's a long shot, but sometimes the guys stop for pizza before they drop off. Really? I'll check out the pizza shops. Any idea which one? One of the mom and pop joints, I think. Jerry's? No, that's uptown. I mean, original Jerry's. Oh, right. No, started with- Wait, I think I see the trucks. Thanks, Eddie. No worries. Hope you find your stuff. Should be some truck- Nope, stuff's not here. There has to be another truck around here. No sign of my stuff. <laughs> what an interesting smell. Eddie, you're my only hope. Not there either, huh? You sure they were around here? Well, the guys might have switched routes due to the upcoming Osborne rally. If your pickup was on Route 35, they'd be dropping off at the incinerator right now. Incinerator? Over by Manhattan Bridge. Better hustle. <laughs>
There's the incinerator. Hope I'm not too late. Uh-oh. Looks like trouble. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, thanks. This gang's been terrorizing the whole neighborhood the last couple of days. There's probably more of them on the way. I'll keep an eye out. Hey, mind if I look around for some, uh, some personal items? Sure, have at it. I gotta go file an incident report. I think that's it. Please be here, please be here. Yes. Hope it still works. Phew, looks like everything's here. Hey, look, an old gadget prototype. Looks kind of awesome. Why didn't I ever finish it? Uh, I think I can make this work. Got it. Look, is that... I think he's Spider-Man. Uh-oh. Ice! Okay, well, this night isn't quite going as planned. Where am I gonna sleep? Guess I could try MJ's. Alright, how am I gonna talk my way onto MJ's couch? Let's see. Uh, hi, MJ, it's Peter. Any chance I could stay over to. Oh, that's too. Just in the neighborhood, and ah, oh, that's lame. Hey, MJ. Now that we're talking again, I thought maybe. Okay, that just sounds pathetic. Why am I making this such a big deal? We're just friends, right? Friends crash on each other's couches all the time. It's not weird or anything. It's just a couch. MJ's couch. Oh, what am I thinking? <laughs> Hmm, just got a web alert. Huh, looks like MJ's story just got published. I think I'll find somewhere else to stay. She's probably busy with work. I wish Harry was in town. I could crash with him. Huh, someone left me a voice... Locked though. Hey there, spider. Long time no see. Miss me. Come to the this address. Catch me if you can. Uh oh. I think I know that voice. to a break-in. Officers needed in Tenderloin. Please copy. Hello, Spider. Been thinking about you a lot lately. We were good together, weren't we? Maybe it's time to reignite the flame. Black Cat. Don't tell me she's scoping out places to rob. She promised she would give up that life. 
What was she looking at? Anything look out of place? There. One of her cats. She packs those with range extenders, then harvests nearby RFID signals. I'll let Yuri know to pick it up. Felicia's too smart to be putting herself at risk like this. She must be desperate for some reason. I think so. Why? Is she back at it? Maybe. Just double check and let me know if her gear is still there. Will do. Hey, May. You're calling late. What's up? I thought we were gonna meet up for dinner tonight. Oh, right. I'm sorry, I forgot. It's been a hard day. We lost funding at the lab. Oh, Peter, I'm sorry. I also kind of got evicted from my apartment. What? Do you have a place to stay tonight? Actually, no. Not really. I hate to ask, but any chance you have room at the shelter? Well, of course. Feel free to use the couch in my office. Thanks, May. All units, we're receiving reports of an armored car robbery. Location is Little Tokyo. Over. <sighs> Can't believe I haven't slept since the Fisk takedown. Gotta start taking better care of myself. What are you doing here so late? Hope May's couch is comfortable. Miss you. I can't take this. You can, and you will. I'll pay you back. Soon. Just ask for help next time. Oh, you are so much like Ben. You have to learn to swallow that Parker pride and accept that you're human, like the rest of us. Martin. I'm sorry to interrupt. Just wanted to let you know I'm headed out of town. You're in charge while I'm gone. Well, you can count on me. How long will you be away? Uh, I really don't know. Is everything okay? It's some personal business I've been planning for a while. But please take care of this place. It represents the best part of me. Well, I guess I better get busy. Hope Mr. Lee's okay. Hello? Hey, did you see my story? I did. Robbie must be pretty happy right now. Yeah, it kind of went viral. And get this, Mayor Osborne just announced he's going to give Officer Davis an award this afternoon. Wow. Wait, isn't Os... campaign rally this after oh I see what he's doing yeah we all do but still a pretty cool moment for officer Davis and his family I'll be there covering it want to join me yeah of course see you then into the city and try to pay it forward.
1034. Patrol units are engaged with masked shooters. Reports are coming in from Little Tokyo. Demons are getting worse than Fisk ever was. Another message from Doc. Peter, I don't want to change this, but now the time. I'm following might not only get the project back on its feet, but also expand it in ways we never could have imagined. Everything happens for a reason. Even Norman pulling our plug. Really hope this works out. Doc's work is too important to go unfinished. on the ceremony today. I'll be glad when it's over. A truck full of armed demons scares me less than public speaking. But I'm calling about something else. What's up? Just got a tip that the demons are moving on the fifth construction site of Big Town. My wife would kill me if I did the ceremony prep to play cops and robbers, but I thought maybe my friendly neighborhood partner would want to know. Understood. I'll do a swing by and let you know what I find. And hey, here's a tip on public speaking. Just picture everyone in their underwear. Wait, not Osborne. You know what? Just never mind. <laughs> Everyone okay? Demons fight like men possessed.